Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. We've got, looks like maybe like six or seven packages to go through today. Thanks everybody for joining us. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to start things off here with this Precious Gems Mystery Pack. And by the way, if you have something you'd like to send in for Mystery Box Monday, you can send it to us at this address. P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity, PA15676. I also have that in the description of this video. And now let's see what we've got from Precious Gems. It says, Dear Jabs, hello Eric, longtime member and mystery packer. I wanted to share my latest mystery product, Precious Gems. It comes with one guaranteed PSA 10 slab plus 10 cards. I've gotten extremely good at grading and recently submitted over 100 cards to PSA with a gem rate of 70%. He makes reveals on his uh, channel, too. He says, I only submit notable rookies and superstars like Ellie De La Cruz rookies or Shoyo Tani serial numbered parallels. You can purchase these packs from his eBay store by searching Precious Gems Mystery Pack for $50. Every pack is guaranteed to have value, plus there's always extra goodies thrown in as well, like signed cards, sealed sapphire packs, or randomly inserted high-end PSA 10 slabs. It says, thanks for all you do for the hobby. All the best. There is no eBay number here, but if you type in Precious Gems Mystery Pack, you'll be able to check it out on eBay. So let's check this first one out. 10 cards and a guaranteed PSA 10. Let's see what we've got. So here's our 10-card pack. We've got Shohei Otani on the front from Bowman Platinum from a couple years ago. And we've got a Bryce Harper finest. There's a tribute Vladdy, Dylan Cruz on the Mojo. We'll be seeing Mojos coming out this week. Bowman Chrome drops in just two days. Troy is a great prospect. like that card a lot. We've got an auto in here. Caleb Bushley. I don't think I've ever... Hold this card. Caleb Bushley, number to 50. That's a pretty interesting, cool auto right there. He's only only has one game of MLB experience going into this year. But still, who knows? It's a gold auto out of 50. Brent Rooker, rookie card. Barry Bonds, 400-400. A Frank Thomas insert from Upper Deck and Ken Griffey Jr. So definitely a nice selection of cards in that stack. And now here's... The PSA 10, it's Ellie De La Cruz and Johnny Bench from Dynamic Duels. It's a PSA 10 right there. That's a pretty sick card. If you're a Reds fan, that is one that you would like for sure. Ellie De La Cruz, 2024. They did not bother to give him a rookie card logo on this card, even though it is his rookie year, which kind of stinks. But still, that's pretty awesome. So thank you very much. Guys, check out Precious Gems and uh, you know, give them a try. All right, next up, we've got this big old stack here that came in. Looks like there's a thank you pack. There's a, a base pack, a Sophia pack right there. Rookies, stars, and player base, and inserts. And is there no note with this? Man, I don't think there's a note inside here, which kind of stinks. I don't think we have a note with this one. I'm looking around. And maybe it, maybe it, maybe this is a note. It just got separated. I think this one may be it. I hope this is the right one. I guess we'll find out if this is the right one or not. So I wanted to start off by thanking you, and I appreciate everything you do for the hobby. And I love to watch your videos. I've been watching you for around two years now, and every video is a joy to watch. These are the first mystery packs I've ever made, and there's a total of 15 packs, not including the one I sent to you. Each pack costs 30 bucks. Plus, five shipping can be found on eBay. I have some cards from my collection, that, and I'm going to make sure everyone who buys a pack will likely get the same value. So this is the right one because there's Sophia's pack. It says, I have thrown in a thank you pack, one for you and another one for Sophia. I hope you both enjoy the cards. Uh, in pa uh, pack one, you will find two Hall of Famer rookies from 1980 to 2000. Two numbered cards, 10 inserts, parallels, five or more. Kerner Pass Stars, 30 Hall of Famer base cards, 20 star player cards. And also there's going to be one auto and one jersey. You can also pull these two chasers, a Gary Sheffield auto valued at 30 and a PSA 9 Mookie Betts rookie valued at 41. 
The listing number, if you like what you see, is this, 156-378-904-610. And again, these are $35 out the door. So I'll put Sophia's pack off to the side. Hey, man, you're up to date. Andrew McCutcheon, that's, she collects McCutcheon. She, she collects Conseco and Bonds. She's actually upstairs right now studying for a test. So I'm not going to bother her. She's got a an exam, but uh, thank you very much. Here's the thank you pack. We've got Bill Madlock 81, Rod Scurry. There's a Clemente Refractor. That's a pretty cool card right there. The O'Neill Cruz rookie card. And we've got Brian De La Cruz Green and a Michael Burrows in there. So thank you very much for those. I appreciate that. So this is basically the $35 pack, 30 plus five shipping. We'll start off with star players. These will be players that may have steroid allegations that may have been Hall of Famers but aren't because of steroids like the Big Mac, Mark McGuire. Got Bo Jackson there, Jose Canseco, Dave Cohn, Mo Vaughn, Boz McGuire, Jackson. So definitely these are some of the big guys of that era. Don Mattingly, never a Hall of Famer because career was cut a little short because of his back. There's Sammy Sosa, some more Donnie Baseball cards, slamming Sammy Big Mac, Manny Ramirez, so definitely some nice cards in there. And these are all from the era of the 80s to 2000s, it looks like. Hall of Famer base cards. You see Ricky Henderson's on the front, 1991 upper deck. Wade Boggs just unfortunately announced he's got prostate cancer. So prayers got to Wade Boggs and his family. Got can we puck it right there. I used to always like these. These... Uh, Fleer Provisions cards. Rock Reigns traded. Roberto Alomar traded. Ricky Henderson. A gold of the Big Hurt. Ken Griffey, 92 Stadium Club's a pretty sick card. Will Clark's not a Hall of Famer, but that's a pretty cool card. Ricky Henderson. I always liked Will Clark. Ken Griffey Jr. Got Chipper Jones. The Big Hurt. Ken Griffey again. And Chipper Jones once more. So, I'm... Save this one for last. That one I believe probably is going to have the auto in it. Maybe this one does. This is the rookie pack. Reese Hoskins, Kenny Lofton, Jordan Walker. We've got a Larry Walker. That's his 90 Don Ross rookie card. And John Smoltz, 89 Fleer. Two Hall of Fame rookies right there. And then the last pack is the inserts, numbered cards, and it should have the two hits. Let's see what we've got. Zach Geloff on the foil. There's a King Griffey Jr. flashback. Brandon Marsh. And we've got Jacob Young, which will be numbered to 399. Marcus Giles in the autograph is going to be Dustin Harris, rookie card. So it's numbered to 99. If you want to try those out, check it out on eBay. And uh, thank you very much for sending those. Moving right along. Next up, this one here is from Ryan. I think this is a gift. He has his phone number on here, so I'm not going to show it, but it says, As promised, here's some cards for your PC. I also included a Donnie baseball for your dad's PC, and the extra wander is to go to your bro. So I, uh, I'll have to like throw this in my wallet or something because I'm going to see both of them tomorrow. We're all supposed to go out to eat to celebrate my mom's birthday, so I'll have to make sure I bring these along. We got a Wander Franco right there. Relic. It is numbered to 199. And we've got Jared Jones, the Chrome Jared Jones card. I got a collection of him. Jackson Holiday. I needed this one. That's awesome. I missed the tops now on this one. I'll be looking for the tops now tomorrow. Paul Skeens, I think, set the Pirates rookie record today. He pitched another great game. Six innings pitched, one run, nine strikeouts. So I'll be looking for Paul Skeens tomorrow. There's the Jared Jones Refractor, Donnie Baseball for my dad, and the X-Fractor from Ryan Luisa. So, Ryan, thank you very much. Again, I'll have to put these aside and make sure I don't forget them down here. Best bets just to throw in my wallet for tomorrow. What else do I have here? Oh, here's a break. I popped into a break. Sometimes on whatnot, I just get to scrolling. And uh, there was a break that I just came across. And, Oh, man, it was uh, it was a mixer break, and there was like the Orioles were still out there, and the Yankees were still out there. There were some big teams there, so I popped in, and uh, I spun the, the freaking Phillies. It happens. You know, we've all been there. So let's just – I haven't opened this up yet. Let's see who I got. I, I dropped a bunch of money today on whatnot. I was just uh, 
going through and I bought a museum collection box, a pristine box, and uh, a 2022 museum collection. So I was buying some stuff off of there. But I got a numbered card there with the JT Rail Muto. I've got some finest. And looks like I got two numbered cards. Johan Rojas numbered to 99. I'll probably just forward those along to somebody at some point. All right, next, what else do we have? Mm, this one is a whole bunch of, I guess, do you consider these packs even vintage? Me and Mike talked about this at the card show. Some kid walked up, he's like, you got any vintage? And he was talking about like 1996 football cards. It's like, that's not vintage to us. But it looks like there's some quote unquote vintage packs. I typically call them junk wax packs in here. And there's an 86, which is a pretty decent pack. I like that design. Here's the note. It says, my name is Dusk, and this is one of four similar packages that I've sent out to different creators. I have sent this package to you as a thank you for one of two reasons. First, thank you for getting me back into the hobby that I love so much when I was in my early teens. For the last 35 years, I've been out of the hobby, and after finding your YouTube channel, I have dove back in head first. Reason two, I started my own YouTube channel, Hunting Vintage with Dusk. What I'm doing on my channel is chronicling my journey back into the hobby as I document the vintage cards that I find from places like Goodwill, Estate Sales, Live Auctioneers, High Bid Flea Markets, Grind Sales, and eBay. That's exactly how I started my channel. I was doing a whole bunch of those videos when I first started back in. It says, I hope you enjoy the packs of cards that I have sent you as a thank you and in hopes that you share my channel with your audience. The only pack I'm unsure of, which may have been searched, is the 87 Donruss pack. There's two 86 tops. There's four 88 Donruss packs. Came from a Goodwill display. Here's a quick snapshot of some of the cards that he has found so far. So, uh, Dusk, thank you very much. Some gift packs right here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably keep a lot of these and just take them into my prize bin at school. I um, have a, like a prize bin of it's like snack size candy bars in there. Um, there's some, some bigger stuff like full size candy bars if somebody wins a game today. Like for example, today we got a test tomorrow. So in a couple of classes we reviewed with a round of Spanish basketball, which is like a cross between basketball and also baseball, of course. So basically they answered questions. I would, I would spell words in, using the Spanish letters and then the team that raised their hand, that person got a point for their team. And then there's a whole shooting order. So like first person up would go over to the... Uh, to the court, so to speak, quote unquote court, take a shot if they made it, they got an extra point. It's pretty fun. And at the end, they got some prizes and some of them took some baseball cards. So I will replenish those with these. We've got some 86s in here. I feel like, I feel like I, I kind of want to keep all these sealed. 1990. I'm going to, you know what? Just for fun, because I know you guys like to see stuff opened up. I'll open a pack of 1990 and look for the Frank Thomas rookie card. And then we'll open up that pack of 87 which he said that could be potentially searched. So here we go. He used to open these a lot when I was a kid. Good old 1990 Bowman. Used to be able to buy whole boxes of these. Like the next year, remember the next year would come out and the old stuff would be on sale. These are sticking together a little bit. Storm Davis with the gum. Bo Jackson right there. There's Chris Sabo. Jose Lean, my brother's favorite. My brother would be like, uh, I wonder if he'd appreciate this back-to-back -back pull. Sabo and Lean back-to-back. And Tina Martinez and a Barry Larkin, who's a Hall of Famer in there. Let's check that 87 pack and see if we can hit the Barry rookie card. Is it searched or is it not searched? So far, doesn't seem searched, but let's have the puzzle piece in there. At least there's not cards from a different year. Will Clark rookie card. That is not searched. How about that? Will the Thrill Clark in there. So it looks like this pack was legit. We'll go ahead and get that one put over here to put in a sleeve. And the rest of those I will take in to class. And we've got like an empty Top's Finest box in there, like a case. I'll just throw those in. So thank you very, very much. Really appreciate that. What else do we have here? I always pre-open everything, just kind of like line them up. Here's the next one up. Let's take a look. This one is... The 
new name. We've done this one many times. This is the, sur the, uh, the Service Animal Pack. It says, thanks again for viewing one of my mystery packs for Mystery Pack Monday on your channel. I was a police officer until a nightmare shift left me permanently disabled with a severe spinal cord injury. I'm selling my cards to be able to have a down payment for a mobility service animal. Each $25 pack includes a graded card, a certified auto, a commemorative relic, a numbered card, an unopened pack, and a few packs will get a 2023 All-Star Game pin or ball with the Seattle All-Star Game logo on it. They also have a special where if you buy three packs, you get one free. And also, if you get two or more packs, you get a Topps Project card and Topps Inception Tribute or Museum Collection card. And they go on to say that they lost so much of their independence and have been truly having to rely on their family and caregivers. Getting the service animal would completely change their life and allow them to regain some of the independence that they've lost. Get the word out, I'd appreciate it. So here it is, SF Giants Fan 23. Thank you very much. And the eBay code is 355-133-070163. We've, uh, I don't know, this, we've opened a bunch of these on the Mystery Box Monday. So I'm sure they've made some sales on eBay. Check the feedback and see what other people have said. See if it's positive. I assume it is, but check them out. So here we have any purchase of two or more packs. Comes with a free Topps Project card. This would be the bonus you would get. If you bought uh, in quantity, let's check this out first. And I'll try not to slice my hand open here. I already have a giant cut on my hand that I'm trying to kind of hide from you all so you don't see it. <laughs> it's, um, you probably noticed already, but it's in a pretty good spot where you can't really tell. But anyway, here's the Mike Trout 2011 Tops update rookie card project 2020 man when these first came out these were all the rage that's a pretty cool card right there mike trout and we've got a key brian hayes rookie card from inception in there as well now here is the base pack see my zach gallon just randomly made its way in that was from last mystery box monday all right let's see what else we've got here this is the main pack, 25 bucks. so it's the cost of a blaster. You get the following. We've got Connor Phillips. Man, these are on there pretty tight. That's good. Connor Phillips, Black Stars Rookie Auto. It'll be numbered on the back, numbered to 199. 151 of 199. There's a Carlos Correa in there on the purple foil. It's numbered to 799. We've got a pack there, a retail pack of Series 1 from 2022. There's the Relic. It's a Mookie Betts. And the graded card, it's a good one. Mike Trout. Always like graded Trout cards. It is a refractor. And it's a PSA 9 from 2023 Chrome Update. Very nice stuff right there. That's a nice nice pack with the update, uh, the update Trout Chrome and the update from 2011 Tops Project 2020 card. Let's check this out. Wander Franco is the top rookie. Not anymore. I should go back and re-examine this checklist and see who is the top rookie now that Wander Franco is, you know, off into baseball oblivion, never too likely to be heard from again. we got Tyler Megill right there and Jazz Chisholm in there as well. Well, it wouldn't be a Mystery Box Monday without one of these. I have not opened this up. As you know, we've received... Many of these packages, in fact, I have an entire giant case of these from Nicolella. And uh, these all came in like four years ago. And I just, I was like, what, what is this? No, there's no return addresses. And uh, I was kind of like, just kind of weirded out by it at first because I don't know what this is. And then I took a peek inside and I was like, this is actually pretty awesome. It's all stuff from Italy. So let's go ahead and check out this next one. I grabbed another one from the uh, the hopper and let's see what we have here so here is his address Nicolella thank you very much I don't think he speaks a lot of English I've read a couple of his notes on previous uh, mystery box Mondays and they are all written in Italian and some of it I can understand but let's see what we've got here. He has sent a lot of like soccer packs. There's been some pop culture packs. And in here, we've got more packs. Look at this. And the students will probably like these. At least some of them that are into Yu-Gi-Oh! So 
I've never in my entire life opened a Yu-Gi-Oh pack. I don't know what it's all about. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dimension of Chaos right there. These are Yu-Gi-Oh! What I would assume are in Italian. Dragon Ball Z. More Yu-Gi-Oh! What's this? Slug Terra. So these will go with those other packs right into the prize hopper. Where did I put them? There they are. Take those into school tomorrow. I don't think we're doing any activities tomorrow that would require giving prizes away, but um, maybe later on this week we will give those away. So thank you very much. Next up, Nicola, always interesting whenever we look into his packages. We've got this note here in a nice big old box. Heavy. Heavy box. It's all wrapped up in Trader Joe's grocery bags. This says, thank you so much for what you do for the hobby. I, myself, didn't actively collect, or don't actively collect, but I am drawn to your channel because it brings back that amazing childhood memories of me and my dad chasing Maguire rookie cards back in the late 80s. Too many memories to list here, but you bring them all to the surface again with what you do. Includes, included or enclosed are some coins that I collected as a kid before I got more into baseball cards. I figured your son would enjoy them. I know he collects. I wish you and your family the best. So thank you very much from Captain Rookhook. So Captain Rookhook on, um, I guess, YouTube or Sergeant Jarhead. Man, this is awesome. My son is not up right now. I'm filming this video super, super late tonight. So um, this will be a nice surprise for him. And I really appreciate that, man. My son is not into baseball cards, but he is into NES games right now and coins, which is awesome. He's been playing the NES emulator every day. He's uh, been super into Super Mario Brothers 1. He like, goes back and forth between Super Mario Brothers 1 and Super Mario Brothers 3. And then he plays this weird game from time to time called Adventure Island. Like, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's like 600 games on this thing. It's pretty awesome. But look at this. We've got Lincoln Sense, a booklet starting in 1941. Wow, it's the whole set of Lincoln Sense? That's amazing. You got the steel coins there, too. Those were always really tough to find. I did the same thing when I was a kid. I had books just like this, and I think I had maybe like one or two of the steel coins from the World War II era. Those were always tough to find. You never saw them in circulation. And it is the entire run of coins from 1941 to 1975. That's awesome. He's going to really like this. I feel like I should just like put it up on display in his room and see if he notices. That is amazing. He's going to like that for sure. Here is the 41 to 74. Is this? Oh, this is a partial set from Scott. A partial set. You see that steel all rusted out right there on that 43S. Very cool. That's, uh, I'd say this one's about 80% done. Very nice right there. We've got Lincoln Memorial Scents. These are more recent ones from 59. These are always a little easier to get. 59 through, like, I think it went up to, like, the late 80s or early 90s in these books. Yeah, well, mid-80s, 83. This one's almost complete. I wonder if they'll eventually just get rid of the penny. I know that there's been talk about just making the penny obsolete. I don't know. What do we got here? 50 state quarters from 99 to 2008. I never collected the quarters. That was after I, I, I collected coins like, I want to say right around, like my parents are trying to get me out of cards or like in, encouraging me and my brother to maybe try coin collecting because they saw us pouring all this money down the toilet and uh, on baseball cards, so to speak. And the, the the card the card collecting never died, the coin collecting did. We had our we had our little books just like this, filled with quarters and stuff like that. But then you know what happened? That's pretty awesome. We got some of the quarters there to get started. We uh, 
and broke all the quarters out and used them to buy baseball cards. Just could not help ourselves. Oh, this is awesome. Wheat scents. I loved wheat scents as a kid. I always thought they were so awesome with a different background. It was like almost seeing a parallel every single time. So there's your wheat scents right there. I guess it's not all wheat scents because the wheat scents ended in like got some 70s and 80s here but that's still pretty cool one one a year scent collection okay so there's some wheat scents in there i just misread that the bicentennial silver uncirculated set right there this is pretty awesome uncirculated i remember these coins i used to think that was pretty cool with the uh the revolutionary war drummer on the back we got the silver dollar of dwight d eisenhower and the jfk piece as well Really cool stuff. This is this is awesome. Thank you very much for this, man. So there's that. Let's show what else my son has to look forward to. We've got the Eisenhower uncirculated silver dollar. That is, man, that's mint. That's mint right there. Look at that. I feel like I may have had a few of these as a kid. I had a little coin box as a kid, like a little cashier's coin box with the little like trays you would just like take money out of, and I would. And I remember having those in there. Man, I totally forgot about that coin box. Whatever, whatever happened to it. Here's another uncirculated Eisenhower. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if they still mint these or not. These silver dollars. I guess they do, but now are they Sacagaweas? I remember Susan B. Anthony was on a silver dollar for a little while. What's this next one? It's another uncirculated set. Very nice right there. That's awesome. And we've got a couple more. We've got another Eisenhower in here. There it is. There's the back side of it. And another one. Another Eisenhower. That's really cool. I might actually, there's, there's a few Eisenhower. I might just give one of each of these to each of the kiddos. I think there's like four of them there. They can all have one. So, man, that's really cool stuff. Thanks for sending that gift in. Uh, I really appreciate that, Scott. And, uh, Everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Mystery Box Monday. I think that's all that we have for you right now. I'd like to remind you, we'll be live on Whatnot on Wednesday in just a couple days. We have Team Break Tuesday tomorrow on YouTube, Whatnot Wednesday. We did 350 orders last night on uh, Whatnot. I did not get them all out because I made a big mistake. <laughs> I put Pro Debut in as a random team. Man, was that ever an absolute mess to sort. Got it all sorted out finally. But I only have maybe half the order shipped. So the rest of them will go out tomorrow. Um, and I will probably never do Pro Debut again as a random team because it is so hard to ship. They don't put any of the team names on there. You have to like almost look up every single um, player slash card, and there's 200 of them. So Pro Debut, not going to do that again. Maybe if we do, it'll be like by the first name or last name, first letter. But still, it was a fun time on Whatnot. We only did one round of that, luckily. 10 total rounds last night, broke a whole bunch of stuff. We pulled a $10,000 card last night on our Sunday special of whatnot, potentially up to 10,000. Some people were calling it 5,000. Some people were calling it 10,000. We'll put up a short of it. Maybe I'll put that short up right now. You can make the call. But anyway, uh, use this link, whatnot.com slash invite slash jabs family. You get $15 for free if you sign up using this link and also become a seller using this code or this this sign up link, whatnot.com slash invite slash seller slash jabs family. We've got a bunch of cards laying around. Go on whatnot. You can actually even use whatnot as like a like an eBay, like an alternate alternate eBay. And uh, you don't have to pay to list. You just, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have stuff listed. I only pay when I sell stuff there. So they've got buy it now sections and you can, for show, they'll give you $150 for free. They'll match it. So if you got a, I don't know, $100 in sales, guess what? You just got $200 because they're going to give you $100 bucks on top of that. But it's only for your first sale, and they match up to $150, but only if you use this seller code right here. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.